Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, we are going to create this fun repeating pattern in Adobe Photoshop. If you would like the design files for this tutorial, uh, be sure to uh, check out my Patreon page where I upload all of the uh, design files for um, all of my tutorials here on YouTube. If you'd like to uh, support this channel, go ahead and check that out and I will leave a link to uh, my Patreon page in the description below. First off, let's go ahead and create a new document. So we'll go new file, and then I'm gonna use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. Resolution set to 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color. Background content set to transparent, and then just click on create. From here, I am going to create a rectangle. So I'm gonna go, the keyboard shortcut for the shape tool is U. In this case, I'm gonna go shift U until I navigate to uh, my rectangle tool here. You can also right click to access your rectangle tool. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the canvas here and we are gonna go 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels, selecting OK. Throughout this tutorial, I'm going to use my uh, Photoshop actions for pattern design. I will leave a link to them in the description below where you can get them for yourself. I use these actions to uh, speed up my workflow, so I just wanna show you how I use them in this tutorial. Uh, for this rectangle, I'm just gonna go ahead and center the object here, and then I'm going to uh, convert this to a smart object. So I'm gonna click on convert to smart object. You can also do that by right clicking, and the option to convert to smart object will be there. Hitting V on the keyboard to get my move tool, I'm just going to reduce the size here, accepting it there. Let's go ahead and center it again. And then I'm going to rotate this. So I'm gonna go Command T, and we are going to rotate it 45 degrees, clicking on OK. And then we are going to hit Shift, click, and then I'm going to size this down until it hits the dimensions of this square. So we'll unselect that there. Uh, with the smart object, I'm going to add double click into the smart object. I'm just gonna turn off that rectangle layer, add a new layer here. Selecting the shape tool here again, I'm going to click on the canvas and I'm gonna go 600 pixels uh, by 600 pixels, selecting OK. Up here in the properties, I'm going to change my fill to no fill. Stroke is going to be black. And then making sure my stroke width is 20 pixels, I'm going to hit on this icon here. And then I'm going to change my align to align to the center. A lot of times when I use uh, smart objects, I will change my alignment to center. Uh, that way it will stay within my smart object. So we'll click out of that here. I'm I'm gonna go uh, marquee, command A and V, and then that just allows me to access these align tools. So I'm gonna align it to the left edge and then also to the top edge here. And then I can go ahead and deselect command or control D. From here, I'm going to duplicate this layer. So go command or control J. Just dragging out on the corner here, I'm just gonna make it bigger here. Accepting that change, command or control, J, we're gonna do that one more time. And then just hit the check mark to accept that change. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save this. So we're gonna go Command or Control S and then Command or Control W. Okay, we have our shape here. And then I'm going to use the uh, four corners here and that will just create a duplicate of this object and duplicate it in the four corners here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and define this pattern. You can do that also by going to Edit, Define Pattern. And then we are going to create a new document. So I'm gonna go File, New. At uh, this time, I'm gonna use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper, which is 3,600 pixels by 3,600 pixels. Resolution set to 300 pixels per inch. Color mode, RGB color, and then just transparent. And then click on Create. From here, I'm going to use the pattern test action, which basically creates a color fill layer with a clipping mask to a pattern 
fill layer and then a background color fill layer here. So I'm going to select that pattern fill layer. I'm going to go to my patterns panel here. The uh, blue indicates the a pattern that we just created. So I'm going to select that one here and we can see our repeating pattern. Jumping back over into my original document, I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to duplicate this layer and then I am going to uh, flip it vertically and it will create this fun um, overlapping effect here. And then I'm going to go ahead and define that pattern. And then uh, let's go ahead and test that one as well. So we had our original and then we now have this fun new pattern. And then let's go ahead and give it some new colors. So we have our color fill layer here. I'm going to select a kind of a goldish looking uh, tan color here. And then I'm going to change my white, selecting that gold. And then I'm just going to bring it down here in the uh, black region. And we have this kind of fun pattern here. And we can see it again with our original. And then we also have our uh, second pattern here. I think it's fun to uh, design with smart objects and it can help you create these fun, cool effects in Photoshop. Thank you for watching this video on how to create this fun repeating pattern in Photoshop. In this video, I use my Photoshop actions for pattern design. In the description below, I will leave a link to where you can get those. Again, if you want access to all the design files for my tutorials, then you can join me over on Patreon. I will leave a link to it in the description below. Thank you for the support. It helps me to keep making these tutorials. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Be sure to check out my other tutorials on how to create patterns in Photoshop. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.